In this video we're going to have a look at markers. There are two types of markers available to us inside After Effects. The first type of marker is a composition marker. Second type is layer markers. Now composition markers are composition specific, layer markers are layer specific. And basically markers are elements inside the timeline which help us to identify and point to a moment in time of that action taking place. So let's have a look at this. First thing is I've got a um, imported a sequence. You can work with any type of sequence, a quick time movie. And it's also worth uh, mentioning that currently I'm running um, the standard default standard um, NTSC DV format inside my After Effects file, which is why I've got a frame rate of 29.97 um, FPS. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this and drag that to the create new composition window and that automatically replicates the frame rates frame rate of which this composition was recorded and that was at 25 frames per second and you can see that composition like so and on the side here from our marker bin what we what we can do is select that and just drag out one here and I'm going to drag out another marker here and these are composition markers and I'm going to create a third one here as well or a second one should I say and I'm just going to place that like so. The second one I'm going to show, um, we'll just drag that and place that area in that moment in time. And we've got multimedia coming in here. And I'm just going to click and drag that here. So you can see I've identified three crucial elements, uh, moments in time, shall I say. We've got University of Westminster, we've then got School of Electronics, we've then got multimedia. Okay, now the nice thing about this is that if I click 0 on my keyboard it will jump to that moment in time if I click 1 on my keyboard it will then jump and then 2 and then so forth so that's qu one of the ways in which we would use markers to basically jump in that moment in time another cool feature of these markers is if I double click this it opens up the marker window it also gives us the time and duration of which this marker is being presented in we can also link to flash content as well which I'll do in later stage but a comment we can place is I can just say for example multimedia and select OK and that didn't really work just drag that there and you can select OK and you can see that basically it appears there like so in order to delete our markers what we can do is we can just right click and go to delete this marker or delete all markers I'm going to delete all markers the next the next one I'm going to show you is a layer marker and those were basically composition markers so let's have a look at layer markers I'm going to get rid of this composition and I'm just going to basically drag an image there to the sequence like so and what I'm going to do is go to layer and go to add marker and you can see that it's basically added a marker here and what I can do I can add a few more I'm going to go to layer and go to add marker again and I'll do another one as well you can also use the asterisk key on your numerical keyboard as well the shortcut key to add um, layer markers and the nice thing about layer markers is that if I double click this opens up the same window but for a layer marker you can see and I can just say books and select OK so basically that gives you identification a little name that appears inside the layer marker um, of what is actually happening in that layer marker so say for example if this was a footage and the books um, sequence came in or something happened this will visually enable me to identify that the books are appearing at this moment in time which are quite cool again to delete this we can delete and delete this marker the key visual distinguishing factor between a composition marker and a layer marker is that layer markers appear here while composition markers appear here like so. So these are the kind of the two distinguishing factors. So up here will be my composition markers and we've got here my layer markers which is which appear across this bar which signifying that it's a layer.